think it's fair to say that 2017 is the year of nostalgia. We've seen remakes and homages like Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy, Sonic Mania, Yakuza Kiwami... Eh, that one's a shame, isn't it? And now we have Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. And Bowser's Minions. That part's new. I'm unsure if it's a good thing or not, but I hadn't played the original which released for the Game Boy Advance 14 years ago. I was going into this with a fresh set of eyes, and I'll tell you why this filled me with excitement later on. Princess Peach is meeting someone from the Bean Bean Kingdom, but it's actually a trap. Her voice is stolen and replaced with literal explosive swear words. So, Toad number 94 grabs naked Mario and clothes Luigi to retrieve Princess Peach's voice from the Bean Bean Kingdom. I love this game. As I said, I can't compare it to the original, but in terms of gameplay, it's on par with the last few titles, and the story, enemies, bosses, and environments are so unique for a Mario game, and that's what excites me. I know this is a remake, so they didn't just pull a surprise new world out of nowhere, but for years, Nintendo was stuck in a rut of, let's do Grassland, Desert, Fireworld, Bowser's Transformed Cock, Final Boss, etc, etc, etc. It's always the same. This was at a time when Nintendo were willing to do something new, and I feel like they're finally getting back into that groove. Admittedly, games like Mario Galaxy and Super Paper Mario had unique ideas, but after that we had Paper Mario Sticker Star, and the new Super Mario games for the Wii, Wii U, 3DS. Here's the same world, but nicer looking with a little different design. Mario 3D Land even suffered from that. 3D World, however, did start to change things up, and that was nice. Then we saw things like Splatoon, and ARMS, and say what you will about Paper Mario Color Splash, that game had some seriously unique ideas in its level design. It's not about remaking this game due to nostalgia. It's remaking this game because they've earned the right to make this game again. They've escaped the monotonous hole they were trapped in, and they're heading into new and exciting territory, and I'm thrilled to say that Odyssey is looking like it will do the same. Good on you, Nintendo. As I said before, the gameplay is as solid as the previous 3DS Mario and Luigi titles. Fun action, awesome bosses, great to play bros attacks, it's all there. It's the same gameplay, but why change what works, right? You could make an argument for the new Super Mario Bros games are the same but different, sort of, so how is this different? Well, this has style. It fundamentally keeps the gameplay the same, but I don't feel like I'm playing the same game. I'm playing something new and exciting, even if it is a remake. We get to see the return of characters like Cacletta and Thorful and Popple, and anyone who grew up playing the original is gonna freak out, because this game is just gorgeous. I think my favourite thing about this game, apart from the unique story in the world, are the bosses. It's not just that they're all incredible, but there's so many of them and you never get bored. Anytime the game almost feels like it's about to lose its pacing, it picks it right back up again with a new boss. I love it. My only real gripe is I crashed the game by using a bros attack. That was pretty unexpected, but it's also possible I'm the only person ever to get this, because I've not seen or heard anyone else getting this, so I'm not going to hold it against the game because it never actually happened again after that one instance. You may have noticed the bizarre title though, plus Bowser's Minions. They've added an entirely new game where you play as Bowser's minions in a tactical battle, and it's actually pretty fun. It's definitely very different, so I don't think it'll be for everyone. I was actually pretty awful at it, but I enjoyed it. It does take the first world to properly get going though, but I think the thing to remember is that this is totally optional. If you don't really enjoy it, then you don't have to play it, but give it a world or two and see what you think. So what is the minion quest? Well, the Goombas Mario and Luigi place in barrels at the beginning of the game crash on Bean Bean Island and want to help Lord Bowser. Along the way, the Koopalings come under the control of Fawful and it escalates from there. It's a side story set alongside the events of the main game and it works pretty well for the most part. The gameplay is primarily a watching experience, sort of. You set up a team and let them do their thing against the enemy. You have a rock, paper, scissors sort of style with the way attacks are done. Ground melee enemies are good against throwing enemies, throwing is good against air enemies, and air enemies is good against ground melee. You can see the type of enemies that will be in the level before you start the level, and you can create a team accordingly. Additionally, the captain will have different captain abilities to change the flow of battle. You can outright stop your opponents doing a special attack, or heal a great chunk of all your party, and much, much more. It costs more points to better the move, but it certainly helps and keeps the gameplay fresh. Your opponents can do the same though, so it's not going to be a perfect ride for you. 
I personally found that this mode got pretty hard as it went on, but it might just be because I'm not used to this type of gameplay and I had to work to get better at it. Overall, I really enjoyed my time with both modes. Superstar Saga is definitely the main attraction and is the better of the two, but Bowser's Minions isn't bad at all. If anything, it's just a huge amount of bonus gameplay, which I welcome. I'm giving Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions for the 3DS, <sighs> that's a mouthful, a 9 out of 10. Thank you very much for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, maybe leave a like, subscribe, click that little bell to see when I upload, you'll get an email notification. Uh, tell me, is this something you're looking forward to playing? You, did you grow up with the original? Did you not? Are you, you going to be going fresh? Uh, and if, uh, if you have played the original and you're looking forward to playing this, what other Nintendo games would you like to see remade? I'd actually, that would be quite an interesting debate, I think, in the comment section. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.